Hey folks, welcome back to another exciting episode of the t-shirt helpdesk.com and today I want to talk about distressing graphics or a distress graphics and it's really really simple um, so I'm going to show you a way that you can make uh, a distress graphic um, and uh, you're going to need hopefully you have a scanner you're going to this requires a scanner and a simple piece of what balled up paper okay you simply want to take a piece of paper from your printer from sheet of notebook paper whatever just take it and ball it up just like this and then open it up and ball it up again okay ball it up really 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 tight and then open it up and then ball it up one more time all right because the wrinkles is really what's going to give you the effect okay so take that and scan it and we're gonna put that effect on this cute little women's t-shirt graphic I have right here because you know we don't discriminate ladies have to have tees too guys ladies have to have tees too and ladies spend money on clothes okay not that men don't but you know you don't wanna leave them out so anyway you're gonna have something that looks like this okay just a, a ball of piece of paper we've seen it all the time okay so what you want to do is you want to go into your uh, image and adjustments and you go to your levels right hit your levels and this is really really simple you just wanna take up that white a little bit and then spike up that black Back up that black and pretty much that's your distress pattern guys that's your distress pattern okay I'm gonna hit OK and we're gonna save as and I'm just gonna call this distress pattern I already have one saved so alright so now I'm gonna go back to my illustrator and I'm gonna place that bad boy let me just find it stress pattern place okay so that's your that's your distress pattern right there you're like that don't look like it is just like a balled up piece of paper but oh ye of little faith check me out okay now I'm gonna take this I'm gonna go to object rasterizes in every illustrator um, and we're gonna make that a bitmap you wanna make sure that this color mode is selected to bitmap uh, you're gonna have a, a resolution you can make it whatever you want I like a little bit higher so I have 300 dpi and you'll make sure the background is transparent very important must be transparent you wanna click OK now what that does is that makes it a bitmap. You're like, it looks absolutely the same. Oh, but not really. Because if you put it on top, it's transparent. And also, if I take this background color of this t-shirt here, this green, and I just throw it right on there. Actually, I can pull it over to my um, swatches. Select this one and select that. I can make this pretty much any color I want any color in my swatch category so anytime you're doing a t-shirt and you have a certain color no matter what that is all you have to do is uh, color drop I drop it you know I drop it which same thing which I have right here throw it in your <clears throat> uh, swatches and boom you have it so this is pretty much this color and I'll show you how simple this is you just take this and you throw it on top of your graphic and let me zoom in here and when you go in the store and you see some of these distressed graphics they do it just like that they take a distress pattern and they throw it right on top which you can make with a simple piece of balled up paper okay guys so 
I hope that has been some uh, uh, help to you guys. Make sure you log on and go to the t-shirt uh, helpdesk.com rate thumbs up and subscribe you know a lot of more stuff coming down for you guys um good luck with all your endeavors good luck with your t-shirt good luck being a t-shirt entrepreneur and we can help you out with that at the t-shirt helpdesk.com and that's about it take care god bless peace